what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we have an update on screen 5 and its production slated to start later this fall officially so as we all know a couple of weeks ago we had that leaked production sheet from production weekly detailing the return of courtney cox um, as well as Nev Campbell, along with David Arquette, who so far as right now has been the only official announced cast member for Screen 5. And we had some ad some attachments regarding the team from Radio Silence involved with the Paramount Pictures was listed at the bottom of it as a distributor. And then as far as the production was going to be concerned, the production status said uh, mid-October of 2020. Now, we have an update today that is going to just further validate that that leaked image from production weekly again was in fact correct what i also want to throw out there is how a lot of people just want to shoot it down just because they just everything's just called fake oh it's fake it's fake it's fake it's fake it's not from the studio it's fake the studio is not going to announce all this stuff especially when they're holding off on announcing certain things given that we're living in a pandemic also production weekly is no longer a site where you can just go on there and look at it freely anymore someone went out of their way to actually pay for this stuff and this is how we ended up getting that information about screen five someone went on to the production weekly site because there are listings for screen five there underneath the working title parkside alpha which we did digging on that and had validation that also further confirmed that leaked production sheet uh, if you pay for production weekly make one of their subscriptions you gain access to it that's clearly what someone did because we now have further confirmation that the, the stuff that was on that sheet was in fact real uh kevin williamson recently sat down with the new york post uh kevin williamson who we know is responsible for giving us this wonderful franchise that we all know and love uh he he wrote the first two movies he wrote screen four uh we have we have him sitting down with the New York Post here yesterday. He did this yesterday. She gave an update on the on the status of Screen Five and its production, how production was going. Here's what he had to say. Uh, Kevin Williamson stated the following: We're caught up in, we're caught up in the rest of Hollywood with COVID sort of holding us back from shooting every, and everyone trying to figure out what the protocols are. We're in heavy we're in heavy prep in North Carolina in Wilmington, North Carolina, where we shot Dawson's Creek, which I'm ecstatic about. Anytime I can shoot in North Carolina, I'm thrilled. So they're prepping. They're ready to go. The goal is to shoot. The goal is for it to shoot this fall. So based off of that statement, heavy prep currently underway in North Carolina. That lets us know that the a few things are going on there based off of what he said about protocols they're trying to figure out what those protocols are for one thing they're setting up what where they want to film everything for the movie and north carolina the who, the leaders of north carolina of course are in heavy heavy involvement with what's going on with all that in mind so we know that they're scouting the, that from that all i take is that they're scouting the area to figure out where they actually want to shoot everything what they want to use particularly in each individual scene and just trying to understand what the protocols are going to be before everything is set to start in october so they're using this summer to try to scout out what exactly they want to use as set pieces for certain scenes where they want to shoot certain scenes where they want to do certain establishing shots and they're just waiting to hear from the state regarding what certain protocols are going to be they're probably already talking about it amongst themselves as a as a uh, production crew and also sharing it with the cast involved who we still do not know but with this in mind with them saying that they're prepping with kevin williamson saying that they're prepping for it i did want to also go back to the fact that Still, this is just a rumor, no confirmation, but she has done everything in, our, in her power to make it seem like she landed the role. Jocelyn Hudon being in the movie as Teresa. Maybe this is why she now dyed her hair blonde. Maybe Teresa is supposed to be a blonde of some sort or have some type of blonde in her hair. And she's prepping for this production that's set to start this fall on screen five. Because again, someone flat out asked her if she was going to be in the movie. She liked the tweet. She followed instructions and she liked the tweet. She did the same thing on Instagram. So we know there's an actor or actress out there who most likely landed a role and she's prepping herself for Screen 5. 
and according to Kevin Williamson the movie will start filming this fall and like I said before this goes back to more information from that production sheet being confirmed as factual because on that production sheet it did say that the movie was looking to start filming this October so with October being the uh, month they want to release a lot of people have also speculated that maybe we'll have a Halloween backdrop for the movie a scream set on a Halloween night or something like that. Um, I'm not really liking that idea. I don't like the way that sounds. Uh, not that it matters necessarily, but I don't really want to see any type of holiday themes in, in a scream movie. That's just me personally. They can do it if they want to. I'll see how it comes across and I'll judge it for what it is. But I personally don't want to see anything like that. Um, I still I don't think the fact that they're filming in in the month of October will have anything to do with the movie being set around Halloween time. I think they could very well set this movie just just have it taking place like the other movies have they didn't necessarily clarify what time of the year it was this might very well be going on during the early parts of the fall late parts of the summer late winter maybe they, maybe it is time actually now to have scream reference a holiday because i can't i actually don't think any scream movies reference any of the major holidays i've never seen any of those movies reference a major holiday never ever ever have i seen any scream movie <laughs> reference a major holiday <laughs> So maybe it is time for us to have some type of mention of one of these holidays in those movies. Uh, maybe this is set around Christmas time, Thanksgiving, Halloween time, something like that. Just to break that, break that trend. We never have a clear understanding of what time of year these are, these killings are taking place. So that'll be a nice change of pace, actually. Just don't set it on Halloween night and make it all dramatic. Uh, but me personally, I'm excited to see what happens in Wilmington, North Carolina, of course. Kevin Williamson, of course, he himself, he himself is excited. He shot Dawson's Creek there. Never really was a big fan of that show. It's good for what it is. I'm just not a fan of the show personally. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, Wilmington, North Carolina was actually one of the first original spots they thought about shooting the original film back in the mid 90s when the, this movie, when the original screen was first thought of. So it's nice to see that they'll be getting to film an actual screen movie in North Carolina. I can't wait to see what happens with Nev Campbell. I can't wait to see what happens with Courtney Cox. Can't wait to see if Jocelyn Hudon actually did land that role as Teresa. Another thing that we all can't wait to see, of course, is if Hayden Pantier will reappear as Kirby in this project. A lot of people have their have their um, mind already made up that she's not going to appear. Very well, might not appear very well. But what could also happen is that we don't hear anything and then she just shows up. Similar to how we just didn't hear anything about Kyle appearing in Cult of Chucky recently, the, the recent Chucky film. And then her character just showed up at the end. No mention of her whatsoever. No mention of her involvement. So they very well could do like a cameo sneak appearance. One thing that I will say is with the Wilmington, North Carolina, again, I've looked up images of this of this city and this part of North Carolina, and it looks it looks beautiful. Like definitely look gives off the Woodsboro vibe, something that could fit into the mold of a scream film, something that can match what we're looking for when it comes to a town that's supposed to be Woodsboro. So I can't wait to see what happens with that and what all the backdrops and the effects that we get. I can't wait to see Ghostface running a muck in Costco, apparently, since uh, we know our new character, our new main lead is someone named Sarah, who's going to be returning to her hometown. She has a boyfriend named Ryan and she works at Costco. So we might begin to see Ghostface terrorizing a Costco in Woodsboro uh, out in Wilmington, North Carolina. Tomorrow, I'm probably going to do a video talking about who I see being the killer in Scream 5. I'm not really too sure on that. I might save that till we get closer to the release because I already have out of these characters that we know, these new characters, I've already made up, made up my mind who I think the new killer is going to be. But let me know what you guys think about what Kevin Williamson had to say with production set to start later this year in the fall, in October. Uh, who do you think is going to be a part of the cast? Of course, are you excited about the production date and the starting and them starting to film this project? Um, obviously, when they start filming, you'll have more updates and more videos from myself, Three Seeds, Zach Cherry and everyone involved in the horror community on YouTube and who puts out these videos. And you'll also definitely get more stuff from me sharing on my community post here and on Twitter. So definitely make sure you follow me on all those social media platforms. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, definitely can't wait to see what Ghostface looks like, what costume they go with, how it how it's different. Uh, 
But yes, again, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications. And then with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.